Any progress on the journal? This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the Coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid. They came all the way from Transia with the Abbey to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore who brought it to the Coven, with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the Seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. Oster smiles upon me. This ward is not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter. 
Be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. Charlie. Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me, uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. We... I've found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Oh, sounds mysterious. By all means, lead the way. Typically avoid venturing this far from the Abbey, especially at night. It's almost a shame we have to waste your talents on Hydra, but I suppose if we don't dispose of them, no one will. In any case, impressive work, Hunter. There's an unsettling air about this place. This church belonged to a preacher named Hiram Shah. His influence turned Salem against its coven. A charismatic personality and a fearful populace can do much evil together. There was more to it than that. You were right to bring this to my attention, Hunter. We thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? Caretaker has shown no hesitation to sealing off the grounds at her discretion. True. Caretaker could find the resources to create a ward if she put her mind to it. The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. I may have found something of interest to you. The means to surmount that obstacle you were so interested in. The secret lies with the symbiote you recovered. If my suspicions are correct, it can be used to disrupt your troublesome ward in the same way that my own wards of protection fell at the Sanctum Sanctorum. What do I have to do? Without going off on an overly technical Starkian rant, the alien itself has a very unusual composition. Its seemingly gelatinous structure seems to interfere with the ward's resonance frequency when channeled with the appropriate magic. You are not going to ask me to retrieve more of the creature, are you? That shouldn't be necessary. Although a cooperative venom would be invaluable here, I think we can make do with what's left from before. I left a vial of the symbiote on my desk in the forge... If you're intent on removing the ward, take it with you, discreetly. 
Thank you for pursuing this further, Doctor. I doubt anyone else could have made this kind of discovery. You're too kind, Hunter. Besides, I think our mutual friend has done quite well in guiding you so far. I am very grateful to have such insightful friends. Say hello for me sometime, would you? I will. This is a distillate from the Venom Symbiote. Strange thinks this will dispel the ward. These appear to be human bones. I suspect we've finally found the last resting place of Hiram Shaw. Judging by the looks of this place, he was locked down here for quite some time. I can't say I pity him. But how would he have ended up like this? Someone sealed him in and made sure there was no chance of ever escaping. Someone? From what we've seen, I believe this was your mother's handiwork. She must have used the Darkhold page taken from Shaw to seal his fate. Literally. And I'm sure that means Sarah was at the very least aware of what Lilith had done. My mother was right to do this. I can't be so sure, but... I'm certainly not feeling any sympathy for his plight. I would hope not, considering what he did to the Coven. I can only imagine how angry Lilith and Sarah were when they finally arrived in Salem. In some ways, locking Shaw down here almost seems merciful. I do not see the Moon Seal here. You're right. I don't sense its power here either. I found highly detailed drawings on Shaw's desk. They were concealed with some kind of magic. Magic that's no match for you, it seems. Let's give those drawings a closer look. Must... How long did the Salem witches hide here before meeting their end? These drawings. They're witch warrens. Places where a witch might hide using magical means. Judging from the detail he put into these, Shaw must have studied the warrens for a long time before making his move. He tortured them there. Yes. I suspect so. Why? The witches wouldn't give up the Moon Seal. Our gift doomed the Salem Coven... 
to an unimaginable fate. These drawings may yet be useful. I will bring them back to the library for further study. Meet me there tomorrow night. made of pure evil. Did I miss the meeting where it's okay to trust Wanda? You have done it. You've returned one of my children home. My Wanda. You have done the impossible, Hunter. You've removed corruption and saved a soul, and still managed to keep yourself intact. You are indeed a wonder unto yourself. Taking on corruption makes no difference when you are the only child of the mother of demons. I know you already feel corrupted by Lilith. You might even think that makes you impervious to it. But I want to remind you that you're not. You still risked yourself today. And no matter how much I love you for it, I still worry about you. I wish you would not. Can't help it, dear. I've been trying to puzzle together where the Salem Coven hid the Moon Seal from Shaw. Have you discovered something? Shaw's drawings. He was looking for the Salem witches who had gone into hiding. Who might help us? But they told him nothing. And where he failed, we may still find the answers we need. I do not follow. We're going to make a magical phone call. Find each witch warren using Shaw's maps, and collect a sample of soil from each. Soil stained with a witch's lifeblood is a powerful magical catalyst. It may be enough. Which sign? This must be a warren. The soil Agatha wants must be nearby. This is one of the witch wardens. What terrible fate did this witch suffer? Which sign? This must be a warren. The soil Agatha wants must be nearby. This place resembles one of Shaw's drawings. You are not forgotten. Which sign? This must be a warren. The soil Agatha wants must be nearby.
What does Agatha want with this soil? I have collected the soil you asked for, but you never told me why we are doing this. Soil stained with a witch's blood is potent stuff. In the wrong hands, it can be very dangerous. In the right hands, well, I just hope it's potent enough. This is going to help us find the Moon Seal? The Salem Coven stashed it away, somewhere safe. I'm thinking the best way to find out where it is is to ask them directly. Meet me at the Elemental Altar. What is all this? Everyone knows you can't commune with the spirits without plenty of candles, dear. Witchcraft 101. I would stand back if I were you. I expected a solemn ritual, but I think you are enjoying this. <laughs> I haven't been part of a seance in years. And look, it's working. Is that a tree? That's not just any tree. It's the hanging tree. Those old girls hid the moon seal in plain sight. Shaw would have never suspected the seal was hidden in the very place he murdered his enemies. This must be the hanging tree. How many innocents died under these branches? From Transia in the hands of the Knights of Wondagore to the Witches of Salem, that seal has covered quite a bit of ground. Despite Shaw's evil, the coven protected it to the last. The Elder God's next trial waits for you at the Reflecting Pool. Son of Gaia approves. The Goddess of Order approves.
ominous indeed. Hippus brings renewal. He is in agreement. 